LinkedIn is a much smaller social network than the likes of, say, Facebook. But that's its strength. You see, LinkedIn is exclusively for businesses and business people. Here are a few stats. One out of every three professionals is on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network and gives you access to the largest group of influential and successful individuals anywhere. As of 2015, the last year for which statistics are available, LinkedIn had 364 million members. And LinkedIn continues to grow rapidly. The same time the previous year, the site had 296 million members. LinkedIn has members in over 200 different countries and it's one of the oldest social networks having been formed in December 2002. So even if you're not in a business niche per se, it still makes sense to be on LinkedIn and you can target business people for leisure niches and big ticket items and you can network with other marketers. And that's LinkedIn's biggest strength. It's a network. It's a tool for self-promotion, giving you access to a gigantic network of contacts operating within your field, and it gives you the means to reach them, to work with them, and to be seen by them. Now, when it comes to marketing, you can use LinkedIn to increase awareness, to build brand loyalty, to create a more professional impression for your brand and for your services or your products, to promote a website and gain SEO or social media marketing benefits, to find potential clients and customers, and to build leads and keep in contact with them. So when it comes to creating your LinkedIn strategy, well, the best place to start is actually the beginning. So if you haven't done so, come over to LinkedIn.com and sign up. And the first thing that you'll need to do is create a profile. And there are two types of profile that you can create on LinkedIn. Uh, the first is your own professional profile, which would be a profile for you specifically. And the second is the profile that you'll create for your business, which is where you'll promote your brand instead of yourself. Now, to begin with, you'll want to start your personal profile on LinkedIn. And um, what this is going to do basically is act as a springboard for your other activities. And so the idea is to sell yourself and make yourself look professional and accomplished while you're doing so. Now, I won't go through the entire procedure here as it's pretty straightforward. Nevertheless, it's best to write everything out ahead of time on your word processor so that it reads well and it places you in the best possible light. Now your profile is basically your CV or resume online, so you need to be consistent and make sure that what you say stacks up. Bear in mind that people will look elsewhere online to verify what you put here and any contradictions with information that can be found elsewhere will destroy your credibility in an instant. Once you've made your LinkedIn profile, the next thing you'll want to add is your company page. And this is basically like a profile, except you'll be writing about your business rather than about yourself personally. And this means you should write in a manner that sounds a little more detached and professional, and you should focus on the value proposition. You know, how do people stand to gain from using your products or services, as well as things like the mission statement and goals. Now, they do rather hide how you uh, set up a company page. So if you come to linkedin.com forward slash company forward slash ad forward slash show, uh, then you fill in your company name, your email address, you check the box here that says I verify I'm an official representative and then click continue. Now your email address at the company must be at the company domain. So if you try and enter a Gmail address in here, for example, uh, you'll get rejected. Now, there are two main ways you can reach an audience on LinkedIn for free. Influencer marketing and content marketing. You can also buy paid advertising, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. 
Now, influencer marketing means you're going to stop trying to reach as wide an audience as possible with your own marketing. And instead, you're going to focus on the quality of the audience that you market to. Now, this might mean focusing on one individual and getting them to promote something that you have to say. So, for example, if you were to take conventional marketing on Twitter. I know we're talking about LinkedIn, but let's talk about if you're going to do this on Twitter for a moment. Now, you might spend countless hours trying to build your number of followers and then trying to create new content to help increase your engagement. And over countless hundreds of hours spread over months or even years, you will build enough of a following to become an influencer in your niche and start getting more business every time you tweet. Well, with influencer marketing, you skip this step. Instead, you focus on creating a relationship with someone who already has a huge amount of influence. Now, let's take Bill Gates, for example. If you could somehow reach Bill Gates and get him to tweet about your product and to include your Twitter username, you would certainly get thousands of new followers overnight and gigantic sales for your products or services. So in other words, you could leapfrog all of the competition by going directly to a key influencer who has the ears and hearts of your audience. And this way, a single retweet, guest post or shout out could be of an order of magnitude more effective than hundreds or even thousands would regularly be. The problem is Bill Gates probably doesn't want to shout out for you on social media and you probably have no means of reaching him anyway. People like Mr. Gates get spanned by hundreds, if not thousands of people every day and probably have an army of minions to wade through it all for them. Only the really important messages from people that they know and trust get through. And here's where it's easier to contact people via LinkedIn because this is where LinkedIn's degrees of separation come in. If you could find someone who knew someone who knew someone who knew Bill Gates, you would be connected by three degrees of separation. And like I was saying earlier, this is where the fact that LinkedIn is a network can be very helpful. Because anyone who is connected to you by three degrees of separation or less will show how you're connected to them when you view their profile and when they view yours, of course. So you'll be able to go onto LinkedIn and see the people you need to go through to get an introduction to Bill Gates. And what's more, if you're connected by someone with three degrees or less, you'll be able to send them in mail. Now, this is a message they'll receive in their LinkedIn inbox, which statistically has a good chance of being opened. And suddenly it becomes all the more possible that you could reach a big influencer in your niche. And then there's content marketing. Now, like influencer marketing, it's an incredibly powerful marketing tool. In fact, content marketing is considered the natural evolution of search engine optimization, and it's now an integral part of almost every business's marketing strategy. And content marketing means putting high quality articles onto your blog and posting them on LinkedIn to share with your connections. It also means joining groups and participating in the discussions. Now, don't use these as tools for direct selling because that's going to be a real turn off. Instead, what you're doing is converting your LinkedIn connections into potential fans and regular visitors to your website or blog. And this might also lead to some people signing up to your mailing list or even becoming direct customers or clients if your site is good at converting. At the same time, if you keep posting great quality content to your LinkedIn network, you'll find that they start to think of you as someone who knows what he or she is talking about with regards to that subject or niche. And this is the other huge benefit of content marketing. It allows you to demonstrate your knowledge and to give your visitors a free taste. And eventually, they should come to consider you as a leading authority in your field. And as such, they might seek out your opinion when looking for products, services, and other ways to spend money. And it's at this point you become an influencer yourself 
and give yourself a platform to which to launch joint ventures, launch partnerships or other business ventures. And it's all down to participating on LinkedIn.